comfortable place to come and fish, really. It's nice. Hi guys, so welcome to the Fishing Nut channel. Me, are Tom and myself here today. Um, where, which lake are we at, mate? We are at Pasture Wood, uh, Barton upon Humber. Pasture Wood, so they've got a number of lakes here, haven't they? Yeah, they've got three lakes here. Um, they've got a specimen lake. Um, we're on the canal today. Yeah. And then they've got a match pond just as you come in. Uh, well, near the cabins. They've got mm. cabins and all sorts. It's a lovely place here. Well, it's good. I mean, here they've got some. Um, they've got plenty of resources as well, haven't they? There's a cafe yeah, here. There's. I think it's an 80 seater calf. A little tackle shop on site. Mm. Basically, it's just a comfortable place to come and fish. Really, it's nice. Yeah, and any time you need a dump, guys, there's a toilet. <laughs> yeah, a toilet as well. <laughs> the last two, we haven't had a toilet, have we? No, that's it. It's sort of breaking your neck all day. Yeah. I'll tell you one of the other things I like. It's just nice and peaceful as well. And it's right by the Humber River. So if you've watched some of the drone footage, you'll see that you can see the Humber. It's, you know, virtually it's 400 yards that way, realistically. Yeah, we're surrounded isn't it? by lakes here, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. My syndicate lake is actually. And I do apologise for those that are looking a bit of duck rape going on in the back end. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Very early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can tell she's from Yorkshire. He was trying to drown her at the same time. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of movie. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, so we're going to um, hopefully we're going to get some decent shots for you today. We keep adding to our camera equipment, so uh, and we'll go over some of that. And um, yeah, we weren't able to use the bait boat for the first time, but we are no. using the sonar, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to use that. We're going to set the um, deeper up soon, um, have a cast about, and uh, yeah, just see what we've got in front of us, really. But at the minute, though, we're just I know it's fairly flat and clear here. So we're just going to get a couple of rods out and, and then start to the chances of getting one. Yeah, as in get the water. That's how it works, isn't it? Get the that's line it. in the water. Right, guys, we'll catch you uh, very shortly. So um, tell me what you've done with the rigs there. Right. So basically, we'll do this twice, by the way. Yeah, we're standard. I'll show you how to come up to the camera. It's like zooming in nice to you, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, so we've just got a standard rig really. Bit of tubing. So what's the point of the tubing? Because in the old day I don't remember. It's, it's just a bit more um, forgiving on the fish. Ah it right, so protecting the, the fish. As yeah. well. it, it keeps the, the business end sort of down and it blends in more um, around the bait. Um, yeah, down to a tail rubber. That. and then there's your leg clip, the leg just goes onto that and then you push that back on, always wet it as well, I won't do it this time because you have to lick my <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then we've just got a little six inch hair, size 10 um, uh, twister hook it is, barbless and a 10 mil bread boily. Lovely jubbly. That's it. And, um, so yeah, yeah, that's it, mate. Well, as you can see, Tom's uh, helping me out today. Um, yeah, you've rigged up my other rod as well, haven't you? And yeah, he wants it. to take the piss out of me. It Look was at that. Like that you see. <laughs> Look at that red spool there. What was it you were going to say? Is that a oh, guide that. for the fish? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a line so the fish don't exactly where your bait and hook is. Well, let's see. I want to help them. I want to help them out. We're going to respool them up anyway. Yeah. yeah, I had I had some float rigs on there before, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> so that's the sort of upgrade we've gone <laughs> from there to there. Beautiful. Better get some fishing done, mate. Yeah, exactly. It's just a beautiful lake, ladies and gents. Just give you a slow pan round. Okay, there's Tom sitting over there getting his second uh, second bait out. We'll we'll get over there shortly. Um, now, when guys, when I actually fish, I fish to structure. Uh, fish obviously like that but obviously in an open lake like this it's very very difficult so um, what I'm looking for is a point to when I'm remembering where this is so there's a big a twig just over on the side that's a different color from everything else don't know if you can see that uh, but I'll try and zoom into it a little bit for you so on the bank 
there is a twig just hanging out the bottom of that tree uh, just a different color so what I've done is I'm just about you know, three quarters of the way there from here so it's going to give me a rough idea you know I always look to the opposite side of the bank to give you some sort of structure and if we come around here that's the first rod the second rod I've got out is just underneath that tree there you know um, what we're hoping for or I'm hoping for is a little bit more of a uh, a bit more of a cover uh, cover bait so the bait that is here this is the sticky plum bait the one we got from angling direct the other day so we're just going to give that a test out today and there's a, a pva mesh bag on there with some ground down um, ground bait and some boilies and a bit of hemp etc and the other bait that's out in uh, about 25 yards just about there um, what you're looking there that's actually the bread uh, you know the bread boily the uh, the 10 mil bread boily and sorry going back to the plum that's 15 mil boily so that's been shaved down um, so yeah I mean uh, let's see what we do and how we get on with today's fishing so um, we've got the action cams already on the nets we've got the underwater cam ready we've got the drone footage already done we've done the 360 walk around the lake you can only fish down one side of it so to, to give you an idea and uh, yeah so uh, let's have a good day fishing Hi guys, so welcome back to the Nutters. So today, um, myself and Tom Bart in Barton, uh, we're just going to go over and have a little look at where he's doing and how he's getting on. And um, yeah, we're in. I'm in peg number one. Tom, I think, is in peg number two. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's just see how the day goes. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, I just landed myself a nice uh, uh, mirror carp, although it wasn't a traditional mirror, it's like a mirror ghost carp. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Reckon weighed about 17 pounds, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that footage of that. Tom's just having a break for, for a second, he's just run up the shop because we tried to weigh it, but unfortunately uh, the weighing scale died. You know, we're still getting used to doing all of it. Sorry we didn't get you the underwater shot of the fish leaving because we forgot about we had the underwater camera. However, we did get a few um, overhead drone shots of the fish before, you know, as we saw them sort of swimming around the lake and, of course, as the, uh, you know, we're, we're fighting it. But I haven't quite taught Tom how to fly the drone just yet. So, um, sorry about that, folks, uh, but I'm really pleased. It's been a great day. We've had one. Uh, we hope for some more. It's only still earlier on in the day. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to uh, seeing you on the lake. And, uh, yeah, see if we can get another one. Hi guys, so <clears throat> we went to Pasturewood Fisheries yesterday and uh, I uh, had a lovely um, a golden mirror carp, it was absolutely beautiful, so um, hopefully you guys have watched the footage on there. Tom did the night, so I'm back here to uh, to wake him up essentially, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, just waiting for the fisheries to open. I'm going to give you just a quick little overview of the fisheries um, as I'm sort of driving through it. Um, but it's absolutely stunning from the outside. So just to give you a bit more details on the pasturewood fisheries, they're open from 7 to 5. There's three lakes here. They've got a bait and tackle shops, 
some toilets, a cafe, and there's actually sort of cabins that you can let as well. So if you really fancy a great uh, a great weekend's fishing or a week's fishing away, it's always worth giving these guys a shout. Um, so yeah, the uh, the restaurant or cafe, if you like, is here as well. So and they are open. Um, they're open. It looks like from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. So you know, always get yourself down. So let's go and see uh, how Tom did. Okay, we just head down a down a track here. It's by these beautiful cabins on the right hand side. Had to go through one set of gates. Um, I would have recorded just going through those set of gates, but as it's sort of private residence, do you know what I mean? It's not really appropriate to do that. We're coming up to uh, first lake on the right hand side here. It's a lovely little lake here. Beautiful. That's a beautiful fishery. Next door is a nature reserve as well, which uh, you know really helps. Excuse my car sensors, a bit oversensitive this morning. So you've got three lakes here. You have this one here on the right, as I'll show you on the way in. Oh, bang the camera. Okay, that one's the Neck Lake. Then you've got the main lake, which if you've seen from the drone footage. And then you've got the Canal Lake and Tom's car. Let's see if we can creep up and see how he did on the night. So guys and girls, I've been playing for some <laughs> Morning! <laughs> and so he's just going to put his pants back on. <laughs> there you can see us. I was just pulling it Of course I was going to tell Tom I was coming. I didn't. Yeah, I know. How did you get on last night? Nothing. Not even a bleep. Not even a bleep? Not even a bleep. Yeah. <laughs> sure you didn't sleep through it? Sorry? <laughs> sure you didn't sleep through it? Oh no. Oh. That's what Tom looks like in the morning. I'm going to give you a bit of a look around his bivvy. It's really good. We talked about it yesterday. We'll show you him putting it up. But um, that's a nice one, isn't it? He's a real expert. What's that? It kept me nice and dry last night. <laughs> did, did it? Yeah, it did rain a bit, didn't it? Yeah, it rained a bit, yeah. I'm gonna have a little bit of a nose inside Tom's home, look. I mean, if you have a good look around in there, guys, look. It's got absolutely everything you need, and that's why he never goes home to his missus and kids. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's the Canal Lake and uh, pasture wood fisheries. Not been a bad old place. That's right, right, Looking forward to coming back in the summer. Fishing, yeah? Not hungry. <laughs> <laughs>